like you say, you ran it a bit close there for getting in time for Sasse. Literally, you've just come out the board of having and signed it all. Right, hence why you've got your son there with you. I mean, just uh, showing him for his first taste of Fran Park. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he likes to kick around on the pitch after the um, games, didn't you, pal? <laughs> likes the microphone too. Yeah, I know, yeah. Like start to your Pompey career. You scored a few goals here, been involved in, in quite a few as well. Now you are the December Goal of the Month winner. I mean, some people might sort of turn their nose up and think, well, you know, it's a bit young, isn't it? To be talking about heavy subjects, as you say. But uh, I mean, that's the way, isn't it? Instead in this education. What you saw there from you guys in training, uh, looking a lot of set pieces today as well. I mean, um, is that something that the manager is quite keen to sort of, you know, press quite heavily on? Would you, would you rather have that down at Fratton Park or a trip to the Emirates? I don't want to retire you too early at all, but if you thought about maybe moving into TV or an acting career after you hang your boots up? I don't know if my acting is that good. I'll have to wait and see it on the TV. Here we stand in front of a revamped, I suppose, dugout and a tunnel area of Fratton Park, but it's not the end of it. It's just the tip of the iceberg, isn't it? Paul Cook seems to be surrounding himself with a lot of players with, with that on their CV. I mean, that's, that's got to be a winning formula, surely. I can't always guarantee three points, but can always guarantee a bit of festive cheer. Yeah, that's right. And if we can, like I say, put, put some big smiles on faces, then, you know, that's a, that's a job well done for us. So Cal, belated, welcome to Pompey. I would say welcome to Pompey, but that's clearly not where we are. I mean, what sort of stuff has been renovated for those people who haven't seen it yet and, and don't really know? I mean, the aim this season very much uh, to go one better than what, what you achieved last year. It's looking pretty good. I don't know if you, if you can see that on the camera, like, tilt your head slightly. It's, it's, I mean, it's, it's looking decent, but I mean, what made you go for, like, the Ryan Gosling sort of? Uh, was, there, was there a choice? Was there any thinking behind the particular cut you were going to get? Or? Okay, so Paul, the games keep coming thick and fast. Just get the Plymouth out of the way and now we're on to Crawley. I mean, saying that, though, there was certainly some good work to be seen on display in the training session we witnessed today. I mean, uh, talk us through that. Not sure about the 40. 40 year old shout though, I'm a bit disappointed with that, but I'll, uh, I'll get over it. Yeah, you've had hard life, haven't you, mate? Yeah, it's been tough. Well, as we say, I mean, you've made a flying start on the field in the Pompey Blue. I mean, how have you settled in down on the south coast? I was just going to mention your stats player, Lee. He's quite well known for that. I haven't seen him at V Festival a few years ago, and he was up on top of the amplifiers and all sorts. He might get booked for diving here, though, that's the problem. And as we said goodbye to 2014 15, Connor Chaplin was about to know what it felt like to become a Pompey poster boy. Fratton Park, home of Portsmouth Football Club since Pompey's formation in 1898. Since that time, it's fair to say the old girl, as she's affectionately known, has seen it all. So today we will take you underneath the lights at Fratton to try and soak up some of that famous atmosphere.